Hey YouTube, this is your homeboy Seth, Martial Art Fitness. Here I am, um, doing a workout video. I know it's probably a 32 minute long video, and um, it's just me doing three exercises, back to back, and some boxing conditioning into it. Um, a lot of MMA fighters, a lot of boxers, um, a lot of martial artists, they do this. Um, it's the conditioning in their hands, um, to work on their striking. Um, a lot of people do it bare, bare knuckle in a once in a while, but I mean, they don't do it all the time because they know it's bad on the hands when, when doing it bare knuckle all the time. Um, because we use our hands every every day, you know, for everyday activity. Um, but the thing of it is, I just wanted to say this, is that this condition will get you in shape if you stay with it. You know, if you stay with it at all times and everything, and um, you will get in top physical shape. And um, I tell you what, it was a killer for me last night. Um, when I was doing it, uh, in, in the workout and everything, now what I would do, i will do three back, three sets of, no, three sets of exercises, along with the boxing conditioning, with the hands, you know, moving my hands and, and boxing, and then I would, um, do, um, 10 sets of 20, that's 200 reps, um, I don't do more, no more than that, um, that usually lasts me about an hour, just about, and then after that, I mean, when I would do this conditioning, I hit the speed bag, and then, or I might shut a box, or whatever, and then I'll just hit the speed bag, um, after I shut a box, um, <coughs> excuse me. I've been kind of under under the weather lately. Um, it's that time of year, sinus sinus and allergy season. Um, that's the reason why my voice sounds kind of funny um, right now. Um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm trying to stay healthy, um, but I just can't seem to get rid of this um, sinus infection that I have, um, and this doesn't want to go away because the pollen is so high in the air and everything else. And then, I've been taking all kinds of allergy medicine, and nothing seems to be helping, and, um, but, so like I said, it is what it is, you know, you can't control the outcome that if you are sick, if you have some type of symptoms, um, of sinus, and then you just do, um, you can't really control it. But it's not about that. But if you was wondering why I was stopping so many times in the video, because I was not at my best um, in the video, because uh, like I said, I've been sick. And um, when you're sick, you don't really do 100%. You know, you don't really do a full 100%. I mean, you take your time. <coughs> you take your time and and everything else when you're when you're sick and because you don't want to exert yourself you don't want to like push yourself a little harder than what you normally do so no matter what i still gotta work out again even though they say to rest when you're sick i can't just lay around all day and do nothing when i have shit to do um so i I do rest when I feel like I need a rest, but when I don't, I just don't, and I think that's how come I got sick. It's because, you know, I don't rest when I should rest. And, um, but, that's like I said, you know, this workout will give you your top physical shape. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, that's like I said, you know, just do this 10 times. 20, 20 reps each, 200 reps. Um, do the jumping jacks, squats, push ups, and then do whatever comp boxing combination you want to do on the bag. And I tell you what, it works legs out, it works the chest out. 
Um, and plus, it works the uh, shoulders and the core out because you're using your boxing, you know, into it. Um, plus, you work more of a sweat up and everything else. Um, but yeah, it's just. Um, right now, I'm just kind of under the weather. I haven't really been doing 100% like I have been in my workouts. I will admit it, but you know, when I do, when I do get better and stuff like that, I said I'm gonna end up pushing harder and pushing more harder than most people would have ever would have. And, and I tell you what, that's just how I am. And um, another thing is, is that is that when you do work out. You just start it, you know, just take your time. Take your time in the workout. I mean, you don't have to rush in the workout to get a workout in. You know, just take your time, build the strength up, build the endurance up. Then you eventually get where everybody else is at in your workouts. You know, everything everything will just fall into place. And, um... <laughs> But when you when you train, you gotta stay consistency with it. Otherwise, you know, if you just train two times a week, you know, that's not really beautiful benefit. But if you if that, that's all you have to time time in the world to do is two times a week, then that's better than nothing. Um, that's just how I see it. <laughs> but you don't get gains. And stuff like that just by working out <coughs> two times a week and I don't see why people would say oh I work out just two times a week and they say oh that's all the time I have in the world and um, well that means they're not really serious about um, when they train um, they just do it as you know give them something to do and when it comes to training, you gotta be serious, you know, you can't just take, um, days off on it. You can, I mean, <laughs> you know, if you're sick, you know, if you need a rest, you know, that's fine. But once you get better, you know, you need to get back in shape. And, um, there is a bug going around at my job. Um, I think I just got what everybody else got. Um... So I'm just dealing with it right now while wow, over this voiceover in the video. And like I said, you know, I do this routine in a while. To while. Um, I just haven't done it for a while. Um, but I mean, it is a good workout. This is how I started working out, you know, like training like profession. And um, this is how I did it. Um, and when I was in class, um, when I would do Taekwondo, I um, just get warmed up. You know, for the class, I would do this routine, and um, <coughs> my instructors loved it on what I was doing because they never seen anything like it before. And um, so I was doing things different than what most people would, and they never, like I said, they never seen anything like it. And when I was going to the academy and stuff like that, but. Uh, then, once they saw me doing what I was doing, so they tried having the class try it out. And then some of the class members in the class couldn't do what I did. And that just proved to them that they were not in shape. And they were just mediocre in shape. <laughs> <coughs> So, everybody has their own abilities to get in shape. Everybody has their own ways and training to get in shape. Um, but if I give a new idea to a class on how to do things, then that's fine by me. You know, but when it comes to training, if I give somebody a new idea how to train, hey, that's fine. You know, I'm doing my part. But when it comes to... Um, training, um, just stay motivated, stay consistent with it, and never give up when it gets hard. Um, yeah, the first week will be hell week for you, you know, going through it and everything, but when you first do it the first day, 
you know, yeah, it's okay to rest the next day, you know, at it, you know, let your muscles recover, and then get back at it the next day, you know, you know, start out with the, like, going one day, the one day off, one day, and then maybe one day off, and then try it for <laughs> two days, and then one day off, you know, do it that way. <laughs> That way you end up having um, time to recover, you know, if you're a beginner. Um, that's how I started doing it, is that, uh, you know, I just did it in that way of order when I started working out when I was younger. Um, I didn't really have, like, a gym to go to when I was younger um, to train at that time. Um, how I trained was I learned how to... Learned out of uh, bodybuilding magazines. I learned out of martial art books. I learned out of uh, off videos that I ordered online on a VHS at the time. You know, and VHS was really, really popular back in the day. Um, now you can just order DVDs and Blu rays and everything else um, to learn off of. Uh, uh, which, you know, time has evolved. Uh, there are always new ways and methods of training. Um, you just gotta learn. You just gotta do what works for you. You know, if you find something that you like and you love doing it. Do it. Um, who cares what people think of you? Who cares what um, how people tell you how to do it? Do it how you can do it. I said, do what your body can tell you to do, and just go from there. Um, this is a short voiceover. So that's it. This is, I'm just doing three exercises, back to back, 10 sets of 20 jumping jacks, squats and push ups. And then after that, I'll do like a boxing combination. Um, so it gets the heart rate up, it gets the lungs flow, flowing, the blood flowing, and everything else. Good way to warm up, you know, if you want to get in good shape. Um, it only takes 32 seconds to do. If you just take your time to do it, that's a half an hour. Um, but when it comes to training, you know, just take, just take consistency with it and <laughs> never give up at it. And like I said, sorry about the coughing and the voiceover. Um, so like I said, I've been kind of under a cold lately. And um, um, other than that, just stay healthy, stay fit. Stay motivated, and I'll see you in the next video. Please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see and hit the bell, and you'll get every one of my videos once they upload. And like I said, this is just a cardio vascular workout um, for boxing. Um, I have not done one for like um, karate or taekwondo yet. Um, that'll probably come in the future. Um, but it's like I said, this is. Just this is just for boxing only, uh, even though I am a boxing fan, so that's the reason why I love boxing, because it's more easier to do, especially when you're tired, you don't really feel like kicking, and throwing kicks, you don't really feel like doing a whole lot, and so you want to get some training in, boxing is the best way to get training in. Um, but other than that, train hard, train smart, do your research, this is the like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. And like I said, please hit the like, subscribe, hit the bell, hit all on the bell, and leave a comment down below. Peace.